Hello! In this tutorial I'm trying to explain how we can test the content of the file that we are downloading. So, let's say you are creating a, a file and that file contains some JSON contents and you are trying to basically create this API so the user from the frontend can, in the frontend side, can download that file. Okay, in this example, for example, I'm creating a, a file that the content is coming from the posts. As you can see, we have three columns here, title, content, and user ID. And how I create the file, I'm using fopen. fopen is a way that you can create or open a file and then write into it and then close the screen. And now I'm using response download to download the file with the application JSON content type. Now, okay, we have this code and we are trying to write a test for it. Let's go to the post controller test and then write our scenarios. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to test if the file is downloadable. This is the first scenario. The second scenario is test if the content of the file is like or is the same is uh, is as expected yeah this is much better now we're trying with the we will start with the first scenario public function test export the basically the method the export and uh, i also i also defined a road here post export which is a get method so test export Test export if the file is downloadable. Okay. Is the file downloadable? Now, how we should call this? We call this get and then API posts. Uh, API posts export and mm, we should assert download and the file name is post JSON. Now for this scenario, let's run it. Okay, and yes, one test, one assertion. Now the second one, which is the hardest part. Uh, test export if the content of the file is as expected. Now a lot of time when you, for example, search for this question, the only thing that it comes to the answers is that as a download. Well, what Azure Download is doing is actually only checking the header for an attachment, and that's it. But what we want to do here is more, more beyond that. We want to see what is the content of the file. Now you may ask why we do need to do that. I mean, this is something that maybe come up to your uh, expectation. I mean, sometimes maybe you want to check the content of the file to see if it's actually has the content, has the correct content. Now, for this, we should do one thing, and we should call the get file, and then get content. Now, what this brings to you, it will basically bring the content of the file that is attached to this response. So now, if I did the whole thing, and Try to run this test. Now you say you can see it's an empty array. Uh, at least we know that it's an empty array. But if you just call the get content, sorry, get content, get content returns you false because there is no content there. There is only a file or an attachment there. So how we should fix this? Uh, basically, uh, get content because. Uh, as far as I know, uh, there should be a data there. Let me just write this. Uh, post key. Sorry. No. 
Windows Controller and then Export. All right, how we can fix this? Now, if we go to Post Controller Export, you can see that we are getting the title company user ID from the post. Now, what I have already defined some factories. So what do I need to do here? It's just call artisan call and then dbc and it will basically generate the data for us. Now, if we call this tests again, as you can see, we have the results. So we are getting the file content. But how is that possible? Where is that get file coming from? Okay, let me tell you like this. Now, if I only call this get, what this brings to me? This brings a test response, which this test response has a binary file response. Now, if we go to binary file response, the binary file response actually has something called get file. So you only need to call get file and get file will return you a file object. And then if we go to the file object, which is this one, then you can see we have, mm, sorry, yeah, file. And then from the file, we go to the file object and then here is a file. So the file object can basically get you the content. So we can call the get content and yeah, you will have a result, exactly. So here we are, we have the contents here. What I need to produce, I need to produce my expectation, which my expectation is this code. And then what I want to do is this assert JSON string equal to JSON string. This is the expectation and this is what has been returned. And then that's that. We have three assertion, one test. And this way you can basically get the content of the file and assert the content of the file. Now let's say you have some CSV file or I don't know, PDF file. Well, it's the same thing. You can get the content even for that too. But then you need to basically parse it. For example, if you get the content of the PDF, the content of the PDF is not like the content of JSON file or CSV file. It's a little bit different. So you need to parse that PDF and basically build your PDF and then uh, compare it, for example. Or you can even compare the, you can even generate the PDF and get the, maybe you can get the resource and compare the resource to each other. I guess this is a good tutorial to make to how we can basically uh, get the content of the PDF or assert how the PDF content is or you know something like this. But anyway, I hope uh, I could basically uh, help you with something here and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.